Hello, okay, today I'm going to show you the AI pathfinding system which works with navigation meshes. Okay, so what we have here is this grey box which a camera follows. This is the avatar for the uh, navigation mesh editor. And uh, all the other grey boxes are the corners of the triangle. Now the triangle is represented by these green lines this yellow golden line, which is this one, um, is, you know, shows the links between all these triangles. Now, if I move from this triangle to this triangle, you can see this black line. This is the most important line. This basically shows the shortest path from the beginning, the start position, and the end position. So as we go around the level, you can see that it's found the shortest path, and it's found at the corner. It first has to get to the corner of the sector and then move on to the end point. Now we go back up, we can go up here and round and down and a shortest path has been created. It's unfortunately it's not very obvious here, kind of keep the black line keeps flickering on and off. Uh, Hopefully you could just make out the start position and you can try and follow it up the ramp, around and on the top floor. Navigation meshes are really good because basically that means that we the entity can move around anywhere in these sectors. Sorry for the jittering effect, this my laptop's really really hot at the moment, so it's a bit slow. And now I want to show you this dynamic entity avoidance part of the pathfinding. Let me just get rid of occlusion here. You. So as you can see, the path adjusts itself around these dynamic objects. and so preventing any collisions. If, for example, a dynamic object was blocking the path, it would just stop. Um, finding an alternative path is can be done, it's quite easy, it's probably just one function call, but the thing is it's quite expensive, I'm not sure if it's really needed. It really depends on the game that is made with this pathfinding system. Okay, and that's it really. I hope you enjoyed uh, viewing it. Hopefully it inspired you to make your own pathfinding or possibly game or just get into programming and games programming. It's a fun area. Definitely worthwhile. Very stressful though. Okay. Well, thanks for watching.